Hey Tribe, it's Gavin Stein here, and you can see this big smile on my face because I'm pretty excited. The latest version here in the middle of June of Lightroom just dropped. This will be 11.4 on Lightroom Classic, but of course there's also an update for Lightroom Cloud, Desktop, etc. But this is huge. You guys have been asking about this for years, and it changes everything about how we can quickly edit and manage. There's a lot of features to talk about that could be useful in the latest version. But this huge one here is that we can now dynamically adjust the intensity of a preset. Let me just show you, let's not waste time. Here is a raw file of a portrait session, okay? So I'm gonna go straight down to something like Filmus. So you can see we have all our settings here and my settings are at zero, okay? Let's go down and just kind of scroll through. I could take any preset I want, but let's go to something like portrait. This is a great versatile emulsion. In the video description, I'm gonna put some links to some of the free presets that I'm using today, the sampler packs from like Natural HDR and Filmist, so you can go try this right now on these presets that are just gonna work perfectly with this. Okay, I'm gonna apply Portra 400 to this. Now, you see that it changed all our settings, our curves, our, all the stuff, right? Like a preset always does. But we have this new slider here, and you see it says Portra 400. And 100 is default. I can now turn this up to make the effect more intense or turn it down. Now you watch, if I turn this up to say 140, watch the sliders on the right. It dynamically updates all the sliders in the develop module, leaving you still with total control. It's dynamically updating all of those just like that, but only the ones that were in this preset. I can go here and turn it down if I want, right? So I can have this exacting control right here and say, no, I want more of the Portra 400 or less for this photo. And then of course I can still come over here and have all the individual controls. This even works on mod presets. So if I go to Filmist and go to something like the high ISO filmic look, right? Which puts some grain and things like that on. Let's zoom in and get a close up and see the details. Now it shows up here and I can adjust this preset, but watch what happens if I turn this up. This is gonna be too much grain, okay? But it didn't actually change any of the other sliders that were non-related to that preset. It only changed down here in my grain and detail, et cetera, sliders that were relevant to that preset. Absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the biggest things I've seen in Lightroom in a long time because it completely transforms how we can use presets. They're already a huge time saver because you can do things like apply a portrait look, right? I can apply my portrait look that I've probably invested 100 hours in refining, developing, and not have to manually tweak with the photo, but now I can do that even more and simply transform an image. Let's go to this landscape. Let's go to something like natural HDR, okay? So what do we got? We got a mostly normal photo. I've bumped the exposure up a little bit. Let's actually go to something like HDR Earthscape, all right? So that worked good, it looks really nice. But now I can just go up here and say, hey, let's turn this up just a little bit more. Let's turn this down just a little bit more. And I have this control. So I might say Miscape's a little much, but let's turn it down a little bit and then it gets a little more balanced, and then I'm gonna compensate a little bit with more exposure, and boom, just like that, we went from here at zero to here with our exposure and preset adjustment. We can even go, for example, to a black and white. So let's go to something like the Orton preset in Silver 4, and I can go to the adjustment, and you notice it doesn't make it a faded color. It's still leaving it in black and white. It's intensifying or reducing the impact of that black and white effect. That is the power of adjustable presets, and it's just there. Now, there may be some presets that this doesn't work with, but with my current presets, you're not gonna have any problem. If you wanna download, you can even download one of my free Portra presets over at simefx.com slash filmist. I'll put a few links and you guys can check out some of my presets. Try this with your own. Let me know how it's working for you. This is phenomenal, and I wanted to make a video dedicated to just this feature because it's that important. And I think this is a game changer in Lightroom. You tell me what you think.